Yes. So, what is cell potency? The cell potency, the term potency means the ability of a cell to differentiate into other cell types. The two terms is related with the cell potency, higher potency and lower potency. So, a cell can differentiate and give rise to more number of cells. So, there are two terms related with potency, higher potency and lower potency. What is higher potency? A cell is said to have higher potency if it can give rise to different number of cells, more number of cells. That means if a single cell can give rise to a lot of cells, types, different types of cells, then it can said to have the higher potency. Next is lower potency. A cell is said to have lower potency if it can differentiate into the less number of types. A single cell can differentiate into the less number of types, then it is said to have the lower potency. The potency is described as the gene activation potential within the cell. A cell is said to have a gene activation potential means to activate its gene to express itself. So, the cell is said to have the gene activation potential. The higher the gene activation potential, higher the potency of the cell. Then, uh, there is next term that is stem cell. So, you would have listened what is stem cell. Many times they have said that uh, the stem cells of embryo are uh, preserved for future use. So, what are these stem cells? These stem cells are the biological cell that is found in a multicellular organism which can differentiate, can divide and give rise to the large number of the cell. They develop during the early growth of life and in many of the tissues they have, they serve as an internal repair system. They divide without a limit to replenish other cells that means to repair the cell they divide endlessly there is no limit of dividing the stem cell the stem cell can give rise to the daughter cell these daughter cell can in turn give rise to other stem cells or form the some specialized cell these stem cells have renewable ability or a capacity to repair themselves and give rise to the differentiated cell. The advancement in the technology has helped to treat the various patients with the help of stem cell, especially the cancer patients. There are three properties of a stem cell. Self-renewable. Self-renewable is the ability of a stem cell to give rise to the cells of the tissues to repair them and to have the good functioning of the tissues. Then second is unspecialized nature. Unspecialized nature means the stem cell are the unspecialized cell which can differentiate at any stage and can give rise to other number of large types of cell. Then third is differentiation. Differentiation is the process of giving rise to a specialized cell from unspecialized cell. That means uh, the stem cells are unspecialized cell. They can differentiate, they can undergo certain processes and give rise to the differentiate cell which carry out function in the body. So there is a asymmetric division. Asymmetric division is the process by which stem cell give rise to specialized cell that populate the adult organism and create the diversity in the adult organism. This asymmetric division is found in the virtually developing system. Stem cells are rare in most of the tissues and these stem cells are used in the disease treatment and also in treating the serious injuries. So, uh, under this topic, there is subtopic potency of stem cell. Potency means the capacity 
of a stem cell so the capacity of a stem cell to differentiate and give rise to the mature cell is called its potency specifies differentiation potential what is specifies differentiation potential specifies differentiation potential is a ability of a cell to generate to the different type of cell so cells are divided into five types on the basis of their cell potency that is totipotency pluripotency multipotency oligopotency and unipotency we will first study the totipotency so what is totipotency totipotency has derived from the latin word totipotentia means ability for all things these are the stem cells these are the totipotent cell which can give rise to all the embryonic and non embryonic cell types that means cell of all the three layers and all the placental cell they divide differentiate and give cell, rise to cell of the organism these totipotent cell have the ability to give rise to the whole organism the totipotent cell are formed by the fusion of the male and female gamete that is egg and ovum these totipotent cell give rise to the somatic cell and uh, there is one thing related with the totipotent cell that these cell are have these cell have the complex in their conversion these cells if uh, once uh, cross the stage of totipotency they are very difficult to convert but uh, researchers have made it uh, easy or made it possible to convert the next is pluripotency pluripotency the the word has derived from the latin word pluripotentia which means ability for many things these are the descendants of totipotent cell that means the pluripotent cell have originated from the totipotent cell totipotent cell from has totipotent cell can give rise to large number of cells of any kind so they can also give rise to more uh, give rise to many number of cells but uh, mainly the cells derive from the three layers all the non embryonic cells these cells have differentiating capacity and self renewing capacity these are called true stem cells as they can give rise to many cells of the body they can give rise to three germ layer cells which are ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm ectoderm is the outermost layer which give rise to epidermal tissues and nervous system endoderm are the interior most layer interior stomach lining gastrointestinal tract and the lung and middle layer is mesoderm which give rise to muscle cells bone cells blood cells and urogenital cells now third one is multipotency multipotency the cells which undergo multipotency are multipotentia these can give rise to discrete number of cell discrete means separate cell types ye separate cheezon ko cells ko form karne mein help karte like blood stem cells blood stem cells can give rise to lymphocytes monocytes neutrophils these cells can uh, give rise to like a, a blood stem cell can give rise to monopotent cells uh, sorry monocytes lymphocytes etc these multipotency cells are present in the cord blood adipose tissue cardiac tissue bone marrow this can differentiate and give rise to see multipotent cell can give uh, differentiate and give rise to cell but uh, only the cell of related family they can differentiate to the limited number of cell example is bone marrow giving rise to large number of cells then fourth one is oligopotency oligopotency in the cells oligopotent cells can differentiate and give rise to only few cells as we have seen above that bone marrow give rise to large number of blood cells 
now uh, these blood cells are lymphoid cells monocyte cells and all now here the lymphoid cells become more specialized and they can give rise to only b and t cells not the rbcs so the oligopotent cells are cell which can differentiate and give rise to few number of cells fifth one is unipotency so unipotency are the cells which can differentiate and give rise to only one type of cell only single type of cell for example the sperm cell sperm cell can differentiate and give rise to only sperm for example ugonia ugonia can give rise to ovum so gamete cells gamete cells are the cells which can give rise to only single type of gametes the only property is self renewable property which differentiate them from non stem cells so the topic is over if you like the if you like the video if you get the video find the video benefited so like the video if any doubt comment over here you can join our youtube uh, telegram channel for the quizzes and don't forget to subscribe to see other more benefiting videos